Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Crew 2011 Air Game Mini Wolverine. You guys in the rest of the channel, follow me at Bitchu Brady on Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, any other social media platforms that you guys can think of. Tonight, which I'm doing this tonight, ugh. <laughs> There's some more extra news. I came out of this guy's mouth again. Not from this guy's mouth, but a bunch of other people, YouTubers. More extra news about this fool again. Literally, like, literally, like, two hours right before I was about to do this video. I mean, it's, like, been four or five hours. This was around, but, um, some more extra news. I exposed. And the man called me Carson again. No, actually, no, I know the other dude came start. He got in at first, obviously, and a bunch of other people, so on and so forth. I was going to do some extra news about this guy two days ago from the Twitch banning PogChamps emails because they don't want to cause further violence of the United States and here in the U.S. anymore. I'll just read real, real quick from The Verge. It's from McConaughey Kelly. It's on my phone right now, so I'll leave the link to Scourge Boss down below if you want to read the rest of it. It said, yeah, Twitch states it will work will work with its community to make a new email. It's from McKenna Kelly from, um, real quick, from The Verge. Twitch banned the popular PogChamp email Wednesday afternoon to decide to publish a tweet encourages further... Oh, depicted it to publishing tweets, encouraging further publics... Okay. Encouraging further violence on the stuff that happened in the U.S. Capitol. Anyways, I'll leave that down below. You know that is. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the link to the box down below. I'm trying to get positive eyes. It's more extra shit from here. Oh, man. Some big effed up, um, crazier news. Saying some of the allegations are coming out of permanently real. And then this other dude, like, I'm not going to throw him under the bus. Oh, the guy is a big giant 8.1 million subscriber channel. He's a big giant dude. Knows penguins and most critical Charlie. He had some extra news about it. Not just Keemster. A bunch of big giant YouTubers talked about it. And the Call of Carson allegation. That'll probably be its own separate video. I'm just doing these two videos tonight. This one and then and those came out about a year ago in August. I'm talking about this and this. More cooler new stuff. But this both these videos aren't coming out until Saturday. I'm doing this on a nice, beautiful Friday night. Like been almost five hours since came out of work. IRL. Anyways, links down below if you want to read this out. These both come from Brett Cope, I think. And I guess more positive vibe nice news to talk about. So here we go. Darling in the Franks cosplayer vows the studio triggers protagonist. Wows. Studio Trigger Protagonist is Zero Two. It's funny because last year was the first time I saw it, even though it came out two years ago in 2018. But it was really, really effing cool. Very, very emotional. I, I cried a little bit at the last episode, literally. This is Darling Frank's cosplay. Da, 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 da. All right. Here we go. It says Darling Frank's made his debut back in 2018 and quickly won the hearts of many fans around the world with the sci fi romance novel. It, the sci fi part really hit crazy to me because. Hang in the future if we're still around, if I'm still alive. And then it ends in the year 2053 or 2055 is where the whole, like, future hyper advancement of this type of technology, the Franks. If I'm still alive, we have futuristic technology like that. By the time I'm either 64 or 67, I think. <laughs> I'm going to be a very, very old ass man like that dude that had, like, the cybernetic robot arm. If a real life technology is this by that, I mean, we kind of saw a glimpse of it last year. It was like August, September last year. I didn't know it was just a fake giant toy from Hasbro. It was like a Gundam wing, Gundam seed, like giant robot in Japan. And it was like their, their Disney version of Japan. It was like walking around and like, it wasn't walking around like attacking people and stuff like that. It was just like a big giant like robot. If I find the link, Squish Boss down below. I know the dude last year here, Hey, talked about it, so. I find that video, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. It was extremely crazy. Cool. A little creepy, too. And this was 2020, by the way, in August, when this video was out. In Japan, I know, eh, not surprised it was Japan. I think Hasbro was the one that started. It looked like an IRL real life transformer. I was just doing these big giant robot things. This is 2020 last year. If we had the future advanced technology by the time I'm 64, 67 years old, if I'm still alive. That'd be crazy, because I think it starts in the year 2053, 2055. <laughs> it's crazy shit if I see that during my lifetime, but let's start it. So it says, the anime won the hearts of the collaboration between Studio Trigger and Cloverworks. Talented cosplayers celebrated the breaks, and they, these, they literally bring them to life. Bringing a true-to-life takes. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about anime manga news, but I had to talk about this shit. I want to start bringing more of this being cosplay of a life type of shit again. It was fun. I only get maybe like three or five views on it. I know I don't get that much views on it, but I love talking, discussing, having conversations like this. It's beautiful. 
Her insanely accurate portrayal of the protagonist is sure to leave fans in awe. Da, 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 and here it goes. <laughs> the pink-haired heroine stars in 2018 Studio Trigger. The hit anime series takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity is on the brink of extinction. Yeah, I remember that. But large creatures called the Klaxosaurs. Oh, man, those things were assholes big time, huh? As a late lion, as a last line of defense, children are artificially, these teenager kids, are artificially creative to fly mechas called Franks to fight the aliens. Teenagers such as Protagonist Zero Two attend school to learn how to pilot the giant machinery. Cosplayer Pina Reach, hopefully I'm saying that right, Reach, went viral on Instagram after bringing, this is only four days ago, super recent, bringing the series lead heroine with an incredible life costume, lifelike costume. Protagonist, oh, excuse me, photographer, Malcolm Zero, captured the artist posting the character's iconic red and white trimmed academy uniform. Pina faithfully recreated Zero Two directly from the anime while showing off her detailed outfit. The artist's accuracy depicted her school dress, including the black stripes that run out of her arms. <laughs> Arms and down and soldiers <laughs> literally looks like an IRL version, man. You know, we got AR and VR stuff, and that's still like in its baby stages. In my personal opinion, if it's not 2022 next year, it might be 2025, 2026 when it gets way more super realistic. But it's, I'm, I'm probably in my mid late 30s by then, <laughs> so I'm still in my early 30s. I just barely gonna be hitting 32 in another few days. So look at that, that shit, so effing cool, so badass, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to simp for the chick. She looks super mega perfect at zero two. This is how she would look if she was an actual physical real life person. In my own humble, non simping opinion. Now let's move on. Um, cause I don't give any of these chicks money ever. None of them ever for an IRL shot. Or donate them or cheer them on Twitch or none of that shit. Another picture. I do follow a lot of them on Instagram. Way more than Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Instagram? Links down below. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. I give them a shitload of hearts. That's all of them. Um, in another picture posted to social media, the cosplayer gives fans a fan a closer look at how she's captured with pink hair and a character signature look on top of her flowing pink hair. The artist used a prop headband with two red horns sticking out of each side. In the story, Zero Two has Klaxosaurus blood in her. Yeah, I remember that. Spoilers for anyone I had never seen it yet. It's been almost by this June or July or August. Be almost three years since it's been out, so... You guys are even way later than me. But anyways, um, despite the series' immense popularity, there have been no potentials on Season 2 so far. Fortunately, fans, I know fans really, really want a second season. I'm not, I wouldn't care for me personally. I feel like it ended the right way. I don't think it needs another season. But if they do, for me, that's extra frosting on the camp. That's great. There's thousands of other animes I still want to watch. If they do, great. And if not, that's fine with me. Fortunately, fans can read the manga adaptation, which ended in January 2020 to get their fix. I didn't know that, because I don't follow that much manga anymore like I used to. Excuse me. Ugh. These interested, those interested in seeing all the hypos, you can catch a full now on the popular anime streaming service, Crunchyroll Fan Animation. And I'll get to overall thoughts, views, and opinions in a minute. Um, The Neon Genesis one I want to talk about. Because this was one of my old school, early, mid-90s like shows I used to watch all the time. I even though it came out when it was one or two. I didn't get to see it until I was about six, seven, eight years old. A little bit later. This one comes from Brett Cop as well. The Neon Genesis Evangelion costume made ways on Instagram after her instantly, sanely accurate take on Asuka Langley. That could be very, very subjective, by the way. Not everyone's going to see it super realistically like this. <laughs> like this guy, or like how I do, how I see it. Um, The artist faithfully recreated the protagonist's Academy look. Making their major television debut in 1995? I thought it was 1990-1991 again, unless it was in Japan. Man. It would make sense if it was 1995 or six, because I was about six or seven at the time. So I remember watching this so well in these old, old VHS tapes one of my uncles got. And I swear to God, I'm not making this shit up. He got it from Japan, straight out from Japan. Oh, man. He showed me one of these first, like, two seasons of Evangelion. Oh, my God. It was beautiful, man. For its time. Those graphics were amazing. The the animation for that anime style was breathtaking, man. Honestly, 
well, Keanu Reeves thing. You're breathtaking, sort of mean. You can insert that if you want. <laughs> well, let's continue. Um, 1995 Evangelion has continued to be one of the most influential animes of all time. This thrilling sci-fi story helps the help shape the mecha genre. To celebrate the groundbreaking series. I'm not gonna lie. Last year, 2020, when the whole pandemic scan and everything was still going on, it was still pandemic. Now it's pandemic 2.0 with that freaking um COVID-19 variant. But yeah, I actually got a little bit more extra into like um, a lot of mecha animes. I didn't get to tell you that. It's funny because before 2020, I didn't really give too much of a crap about them. And they're darling and Franks. I started binge watching chart loads of um, mecha animes. I even went to old school Mobile Suit Gundams. I used to watch once in the 90s. Cause I was like literally the only old school mecha suit. That one and Delta Macross 7 was only two um mecha anime series sci-fi animes i got more the most into other than that that was a man i got way more deeper than other ones <laughs> 31 years going on 32 years it's crazy celebrates groundbreaking series a talented cosplayer which shows her lead heroine um heroina asuka langley is her iconic school uniform i like the ray chick better ray looks so much more better Aria. i'm not talking about the star wars newer one that came out two years ago but still Gainax Studios from back in the day. Evangelion becomes true to life Asuka Langley. Oh, there it is. Oh, she looks so badass, man. Freaking gorgeous. Ass, man. Perfect. Neon Genesis Evangelion takes a place in a post-apocalyptic version of Tokyo. I got to go back and see that anime again. I've seen the movie thing. I downloaded it, unfortunately, illegally, but whatever. <laughs> the one that was in 2019. Oh, I remember I did a chat and breeze on there almost two years ago about it, too. I remember, man. Oh, my God. In Tokyo, where the humanity under threat from, is under threat from a giant creature called the Angels. Mecha pilots, pilots like Asuna Langley, connect to large robots called Evangelion to fight back the looming threat. Cosplayer Lizzy, if I'm saying that right, Lizzy, Liza, that's her name. Okay, someone from Russia. That's her official Twitter handle there. If you, I'll leave both down below if you want to check them out. Wowed on Instagram after bringing their anime heroine to life for a sailing accurate costume, the artist faithfully portrayed the character signature from school uniform attire. Photographer Kiyosh, Kiyosh, Kiyosho, however you say that, captured Lisa showing off the incredible costume with the ocean waves in the background. The cosplayer, wow, nailed Langley's signature twin pigtails, including her pigtail hair, hair, hairstyle, including her iconic red clips, and said in the both sides of her head. Oh, excuse me. The talented artist accurately mirrored the heroine's heroic, and that's what I think it means, light blue dress, which sits over her neatly pressed white shirt. She eventually, excuse me, she even include her tiny red bow, which sits under the collar. In another shot in social media, someone from Russia, aka Lisa, teamed up with fellow cosplayer, hopefully I'm saying this right, Asiagana Nananami, hopefully I'm saying that right, who perfectly depicted Asuna, Asuna Rei, Rei Anami, oh, there it was, Asuna's classmate, Rei Anami. Duo, duo stand back to back as a gorgeous sunset lights up to a blue, s <laughs> lights up to the skyline, I'm half asleep, I just took, came back from a nap too, so I'm sorry if my word's all over the place. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love the sunset so much. It's a pity I managed to shoot. <laughs> manage. It's a pity I rarely managed to shoot them. Okay. Despite releasing over two decades ago, Neon Genesis Evangelion considers to be one of the best beloved, most beloved Japanese series of all time. The mega story is popular that it's gotten even several new iterations over the year, including an upcoming film to set up for debut in 2021 called Thrice Upon a Time. It looks like. No, oh, those looking to dive into Evangelion have from the movies have many choices. From movies to the long running manga, popular streaming services like Netflix have currently has the original nineteen ninety five anime, which can be watched right now. Yeah, overall thoughts and opinions, good good ass job. I'm definitely fine on this chick on Instagram. I already follow a little bit of this stuff on check on Instagram already. Someone from Russia, she's Really good with a lot of the anime series as well as cosplaying and shit. That's all guys say for now. I'm out of here. Links to Switch Boss down below and I'm done. Good job is playing soon. Good good job to the other chip playing Zero Two. Badass.
Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Bam, boys and fangirls. Talk is naked. Mondays, I'll see you when I see you guys every day, every night. Every day in the universe out there, stays more for your content channel. Including video game industries and mod news, internet news, tour, twist, rejoin news, and mod news. Peace out, my sauerkraut. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the